They met me in the day of success, and I have learned by the perfectest report they have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I burnt in desire to question them further, they made themselves air into which they vanished. Whilst I stood wrapped in wonder of it, came missives from the king, who all hailed me Thane of Cordor, by which title before these wayward sisters saluted me and referred me to the coming of time which hail king that shalt be. This have I thought good to deliver thee, my dearest partner of greatness, that thou must not lose the dues of rejoicing by being ignorant of, of what greatness is promised thee. Lay to thy heart and farewell. <laughs> Glams thou art and Bordo, and shall be what thou art promised. Yet I do fear thy nature. It is too full of the milk of human kindness to catch the nearest way. Thou wouldst be great, are ah, not without ambition, but without the illness should attend it. What thou wouldst highly, thou wouldst holily, wouldst not play false, and yet wouldst wrongly win. Thou'st have great glams, that which cries, thus thou must do, if thou have it, and that which rather thou dost fear to do, than wishest should be undone. I do hear that. That I might pour my spirits in thine ear and chastise with the valor of my tongue all that impedes thee from the golden round which fate and metaphysical aid doth seem to have thee crowned withal. What is your tidings? The king comes here tonight. Thou meant to say it. Is not thy master with him? Who but so would have informed for preparation? Oh, so please you, it is true. Our tale is coming. One of my fellows had the speed of him, who almost dead for breath had scarcely more than would make up his message. Give him tending. He brings great news. <laughs> the raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts. Unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood. Stop up the access and passage to remorse, that no compunctions, visitings of nature shake my fell purpose, nor keep peace between the effect and head. Come to my woman breasts and take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers. Wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief, come, thick night, and pour thee in the dunnest smoke of hell, that my keen knife shall see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peep through the blanket of the dark to cry, hold, hold.